<sighs> Good morning. Today is December 3rd, 2010. It is the last, the fifth and last day of uh, our juice fast. Um, whew, I'm just up a little earlier today. Not really early. It's 10 o'clock, but I'm um, getting ready to go out to our homeschool co-op and uh, putting myself together a little bit. Um, it's a little easier today because I made all my juice last night and all I got to do is just get ready and go. But um, So, feeling good. Um, just going to get myself ready to go, get my juice in my bag and or cooler and ready to go. And um, we'll be back later on this afternoon with uh, an update on how the rest of the day goes. Bye. Hello, it's uh, the uh, middle of day five of our uh, juice fast and um, things are kind of winding down. Um, just got back from our homeschool uh, co-op uh, classes today and um, just had my second juice and had a cup of tea because I'm freezing. And uh, um, heading off to yoga here in a couple hours and um, so I'm just going to stop drinking anything until then and then maybe I'll have one more tonight. Um, I have actually two more jars in the fridge, but I'm finding that it's hard to drink juice at like 9 o'clock at night. So, um, my friend that's uh, doing this uh, along for the ride with me on this experience is she decided to break her fast tonight with some fruit because she's got some uh, more strenuous activities she wants to participate in tomorrow, hiking or something, and, and she needed some energy for that. And um, so, if I didn't already have all my juice done and um, have Darren, you know, joining me today um, for a day of fasting with him too. I probably would have followed her lead and just had a piece of fruit or something, and then gone to bed and got up and done fruit and salad or something tomorrow. But uh, since I've already got it done, I'll just stick it out and um, use it up. And so that's where I am. Uh, I'll, I'll come back and after my yoga class tonight and report how the rest of the day goes. Although I don't anticipate it being any more eventful. Uh, then the, the first half, I'm kind of in the zone now. I know that it's over tomorrow, so I'm kind of not uh, stressed or anything. It's just really kind of boring. I feel like I'm kind of twiddling my thumbs and I just made the kids um, like some potato bean soup for lunch and whipped them up a smoothie. And um, it's just kind of like, a, a, not that I would even normally eat what they're eating. I generally make myself a salad or something, but just it's the time of day when I normally would eat so it's kind of um, kind of just feels like there's a lot of space to fill which is good it's it's interesting and I think I've hit the plateau with the weight loss um, anyway and uh, really not looking to lose any more weight and right now anyway and just wanted to kind of I'm at the rebuilding stage I think you know I could probably take off a couple more pounds but um, it's more about kind of redistributing the uh, my things and making um, firming up a little bit and just feeling a little more strength. Um, one of the things I think I've kind of hit the hit the um, the mark with where my goal was with weight loss originally five years ago, and now I'm kind of at that rebuilding phase. So I need to focus on you know yoga and some strength training and things like that. that are going to give me some more muscle and strength rather than just it's not about really weight loss. So. Um, that's my focus. Um, getting ready to go clean up and and uh, head out in a little bit. So um, I'll be back uh, this evening. Ciao. Hi there. Um, end of day five. Yay. Um, I just got back from my yoga class and uh, the yoga cleanse program I signed up for this week um, included the yoga classes and a couple other little workshops. And I only made it to a couple of the yo actual yoga classes so far, but um, they're having a couple workshops like on today's was on um, uh, juicing, which I thought was perfect uh, kind of to, to, to wind down my juice uh, fast. So I stayed for that, and um, they they you had a green star juicer, and they um, uh, made a whole bunch. They had a bunch of produce there, and they made a whole bunch of different juices. And um, I had brought along my third jug of juice for the day because uh, I didn't want to have it right before yoga. And um, so I had that with me. Uh, and I also sampled the juices they made. 
because they were fresh organic juices so I thought and then it occurred to me afterwards that you know I've been straining my um, my juices through a nut milk bag to get all the pulp and fiber out and an interesting thing that I just noticed was that um, I had probably maybe a total of maybe a cup or a cup and a half of all these juices um, while I was there and uh, they weren't they weren't uh, filtered or you know they, the, the pulp was still in them and I kind of thought um, during it I'm like I'm breaking my fast tomorrow it's fine to kind of wind down that way but it just occurred to me that I'm feeling a little bit more bloated and and it's only it was only a cup of juice so I think um, I don't know that was just it's just an interesting thing to to notice my stomach has been so like empty feeling for for four or five days now I can't I can't imagine that such a small amount of fiber would make me react this way you know I don't I really don't know I'd be curious for anybody who's done fasting to improve digestion I'd be curious to to hear your reactions um, after a fast and, and to reintroducing fiber and regular solid food and and if you had any improvements over time um, I just I, I feel like uh, it's been one of my challenges is you no know, matter what I eat, even when I was doing cooked food, um, you know, and even when I don't overeat, you know, if I eat enough to be feel satiated, I, I end up feeling bloated. So I know maybe there's some issue there with just poor digestion from all the years of abuse, but um, I th and I think maybe I'll need multiple rounds of fasting and, and to really um, delve into it more. Um, with the different herbs and things like that for, for juicing, but um, anyway, so hopefully I won't walk around feeling too bloated tomorrow, and we'll just we'll just see how it goes. But um, uh, I was planning on just keeping it really simple. I've got um, some papaya, and um, I do have some dandelion greens, and um, I was going to make a smoothie, and I don't know. I'll I'll see how I feel. I'm just really going to try to, um, you know use my intuition about what I need and and um, also pay attention to just not eating too much cause it's, which is can be the reaction you know when you haven't eaten in five days the minute you do you're like it's just stimulating at anything um, so you have to be conscious to uh, just take it really easy so that's gonna be my intention for tomorrow but yeah I th so I thought that was kinda cool that the day I'm winding down my fast they had a, a juicing demo um, but anyway, it was fun, and um, the yoga was really relaxing. I feel really good. I definitely would be getting myself to to class at least once or twice a week. It's it's really worth the time and, and energy to get there. So, because um, I'm I could feel when I was doing yoga tonight, um, a couple of the the poses I could really feel like just my my digestion or whatever you know my intestines. I could just feel things start to gurgle and move through. It was like. Um, I kind of made me think hmm, maybe I need to be here more because I've always always heard that like hatha yoga especially is really good for digestion and and you know yeah but, but I, I think it's really something I need to to look into so you know it's a whole approach to supporting your health and it's not just one thing that's going to be the miracle cure so so um yeah I'll be trying to get some more classes trying to um when I want to do a cleanse either do a, a juice fast for a day or two um, or just do some like mono meals, uh, really simple fruits or whatever, and uh, or maybe do a green smoothie day or those those kind of cleanses. I think it's more for an emotional, um, for an emotional purposes too, or you know just to kind of have a break in routine. It can be a really good re resetting if you f ever feel like you're kind of out of control with your eating or just stress. Sometimes just changing what you eat um, to to be healthy. Um, you know, to be a, a healthier, different routine can be uh, just for a day or two um, can kind of reset your your intention, your focus, and I think that's that's kind of what fasting does for me anyway. So, uh, so uh, I guess well, I guess I'll come back maybe tomorrow and see um, how the the breaking the fast goes, and um, then I think I'll take a break from YouTube videos for <laughs> a few days anyway. I don't want to bore anybody anymore um, about fasting, but um, good. So uh, I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Good night.